I love Castaniche because I find it's the region that best suits my character. A bit solitary, but also open to people. It's authentic. We always had this in the village where I grew up. People with baskets like that. They weren't sold at the time, they were given. It's a meat that's grown slowly, and it's marbled. That's what makes Corsican cured meat special, time and fat. Nestled in the mountains and surrounded by scrub and chestnut trees, Castanicha is at the heart of authentic Corsica. Silvareccio is a village refuge for Natalina, who keeps up the local craft of handmade basket weaving. At the beginning, we had the basket. There are myrtle trees on the seafront, which we used to make splints. We started to make wicker baskets using the wooden splints made by shepherds or their wives or grandmothers. Often women worked with splints more than men. Basket weaving is the art of weaving twigs to create containers and baskets. They're often used to form and shape certain kinds of cheese. At the moment, I'm working with splints. The maritime splints can be collected at the edge of ponds and are used to make fresh cheese like brochu and other traditional cheeses. It's a savoir-faire Natalina inherited from her father and which is honed with practice. You can pick things up from books, but you need someone with you to really learn because there are little techniques and movements. You can see it. The visual aspect is the most important. So I begin by taking a bunch with my fingers and make a cross. That's the traditional movement that I learned from a shepherd. Natalina makes use of the Corsican vegetation around her, from the swamp-based plant known as bulrush to the bush-like myrtle tree. Basket weaving has a promising future because plastic bags are being banned. And even though recyclable bags can be used, going back to using baskets would be even better. The need to live sustainably could help the tradition of basket weaving survive. We're very careful about what we cut. We take what we need and no more. You have to respect nature, and if we cut it all, we don't have anything left. And this way of looking at it passes from generation to generation. As a big part of Corsica's heritage, basket weaving is taught across generations, like for Pierre. I've always had them around since I was born. They made baskets for laundry or for people collecting chestnuts. It's part of our lifestyle. Corsica isn't only about tourism, it's the crafts too. The tradition, the shepherds, the cheese, and all of the little immaterial things that touch our region. Everything that touches our culture. Another gem in rural Corsica is its meat. Cold cuts like coppa, lonza, or prosciutto are prepared in such a way as to produce flavors unique to the region. Here you have pancetta, it's the breast. I'll show you what the pancetta of Corsican pork is like. This is it, this is Corsican pork. And with Corsican pork, there's lots of fat. This is our bacon, and we eat it like butter. In Loreto de Casinca, François Albertini works in line with traditional ways to produce local cured meats. Shepherd, farmer and butcher, he has his own breeding farm. For in Castanica, it's the custom for families to cook their own pigs. Corsica has always produced its own meats. There were herdsmen of pigs who had seven or eight sows, which bore piglets. And twice a year, they went about the villages to sell the pigs to people. And each family made its own meats. They made their own coppa, 
or lonza. Each was made its own way and when the family had guests over, they always gave a gift, a sausage or a copa. This is how Corsican butchery became renowned. The 150 Corsican pigs roam freely on the grounds of Kasinka. This is what gives the meat a unique flavor. It's a nostril race from here, and the meat is marbled. They're fed outside on chestnuts, acorns, and if it's a good year, I salt the meat until March. Cut, salted and dried from 8 to 36 months in the cellar, Corsican pork is the product of a long and meticulous process. We select the animals that are both beautiful and docile. They don't go running off. They stay with us. So that way I can do my job as herdsman. Long and patient labor, a part of the region's heritage which continues to be shared with the world. With this small-scale production, we remain authentic. You have to have a passion for it. It's great, isn't it? Passing on the knowledge from one generation to the next is a duty, so I have to pass it on. My father always told me in Corsican, never keep anything all to yourself. 